Hi guys and dolls, welcome back to another video. It's Michelle's Manny's. Today I'm going to do a very simple acrylic set. Please excuse the application, it was terrible. But we did get there in the end and I'm really pleased with how they turned out. So this is the M Share foil gel, transfer foil gel. I'm gonna do the two middle nails. Um, I'm gonna use a beautiful foil that, uh, la, 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 la. not a Beauty Queen 06, that's it. <laughs> Faye of not a Beauty Queen 06. I won in one of her giveaways and it is gorgeous and it works so well with the mulberry acrylic from CJP. My goodness, my brain's not working. So this, this foil gel I have, oh, never had an issue with it. It is fantastic. Trey from Trey's Nail Designs turned me on to it. She sent me a bottle just to try because I ordered a, a Nail Nails one each just to try. But this stuff is just as good. It's, it's a lot cheaper, just a longer cure time. But every single time... Wrinkles, of course. I didn't show you the second one. And this is Mulberry by CJP. It is a gorgeous, deep, dark, maroon, purple, burgundy, whatever you want to call it. Whatever it is, it is gorgeous. I swatched this in a video, I think, shortly before this one's going up. I can't remember. Um, It wasn't that long ago because she sent it to me for Christmas. <laughs> so it wasn't that long ago. But it is gorgeous. But like I said, my application today, my goodness, leaves a lot to be desired. Let me tell you that. Um, The color, though, oh, it is so lush. So lush. I saw her using this one in a set. I think I told you this already. Um, But it was absolutely stinking beautiful. I didn't know that I was gonna get one of my very own. Yeah, but look at that, my application is just, wow, it's bad. But like I said, we do get there in the end. It does look a little better. I'm just gonna show you, I think I'm just gonna show you the pinky. The, the uh, pointer index finger was way worse. It was so lumpy bumpy. I had such a lot of filing to do. <laughs> But it is gorgeous. I do really, really like the set in the end. I really, really do. Um, I, I didn't put any acrylic underneath the foil, but I did cap it in clear. Just because if you were doing it on a regular nail, what I did was I filed the edges of the foil a little bit so that uh, the acrylic would stick to the nail and not to the foil, if that makes any sense. And then I clear capped it and filed it and everything. But I did all that off camera. And I don't even know if I show you top coating them on camera. But anyway, I digress. Here I am trying to make this as smooth as I can. <laughs> Yeah, it was a rough day, rough day for me in acrylic. Very rough day. And I haven't done much acrylic on this new hand, obviously, I just got her for Christmas. I've only done one other set. And um, because that set was mostly glitter, I thought it was just the glitter. But I find because I can't move the fingers very easily, I find it a little more difficult than using uh, the flexi hand. And there's cat hair, of course. Story of my life. My kitty cat finds her way everywhere. So I do show you the thumb and I apologize because it is not, not pretty. I don't know. I think everything I've learned over the last little while using acrylic flew out the window as fast as it could go. Yup. I did manage to keep the cuticles nice and clean and well a little bit there but 
for the most part, I managed to keep the cuticles and the sidewalls nice and clean. Like when I took the nails out uh, to put them in my drawer later, there was one little spot of uh, dried acrylic on the pointer on the index finger that was it and that was underneath that wasn't even on top near the cuticle or anything so with that I was pretty happy because a lot of the times I have some um either colored acrylic or clear acrylic on the cuticles or the sidewalls and I have to get rid of that but this time just that one teeny tiny little spot but man alive it gave me a run for my money like I used way more acrylic than I had to, I think. I kept seeing shadowing, and I don't know if uh, that was the acrylic marbling or if that was my application. I'm pretty sure it was my application. I'm pretty gosh darn sure. But I did. I had a lot of filing to do with these. But I really do like the finished result. I keep saying that, but it's true. I'm happy with them in the end. And I would wear them. Absolutely, 100%, I would wear them. I'm trying... Uh, there's going to be more fantastical sets, too, of course. But I want to do some wearable manis. Something that I would wear myself. And I'm really not that adventurous when it comes to my own nails. But... I love it. I said I'm not that adventurous. I FaceTimed my mother today. It's New Year's Day, by the way, when I'm filming this. I FaceTimed my mother today, and she goes, Oh my God, what's on your nails? Oh, it's rose gold chrome powder and a hollow rose glitter. She goes, It's beautiful. I said, Yeah. I said, I'm a little, little toned down on my own nails. <laughs> My mother is 72, so for her, this wasn't toned down at all. Yeah. I am getting, I before before everything went to heck in a handbasket, I was doing her nails on a regular basis, and I was getting her into the glitter and the bling and everything, but she hasn't had her nails done, bless her heart, and she always, always had her mani and petty once a month, every month. She can barely walk because her knees are shot to heck, but she always managed to get out to get her mani and patty done. <clears throat> so for a long time, for months, I was doing that for her until, like I said, the world went helter-skelter. And she really, really enjoyed not having to go out and get it done. And once we're all back to normal, it will resume. I have a bunch of products at her house that she likes. So, and a lamp. I have a lamp there. Stuff like that. So we're good. She has her own little foot spa thing. So we just, she starts soaking her feet when I'm about 10 minutes out. <laughs> and she loves it. And I think it's just the mother-daughter time too. Because we used to spend a ton of time together. Okay. Now see, I wiped that na those nails off with alcohol, and this is what happened. And I was afraid that the base coat, because I do put base coat down first because I'm going to put some leaf foil on there. I was afraid that the base coat would not get rid of that. Like I've, I don't remember having that before. Well, let me know if you guys have ever experienced that, because that was the weirdest looking thing. I couldn't believe it. But see, they shaped up nicely. After, like I said, a ton of filing. And I don't know about you guys, but filing these itty bitty nails. And then that dry spot did not want to go away. Filing these itty bitty nails. When you're just holding on to the itty bitty nail. Is hard. And I had so much filing to do. I end up, I did uh, cap those and top coat them, but I end up putting some base coat on because I decided, yes, I decided to use microbeads. I did. I thought they needed a little dressing up, but I didn't want to bling them out because those flowers are absolutely beautiful. I love this foil. 
I was going to put it on top of the colored acrylic and then I realized that the, the flowers would disappear because if you look at it, the deeper tones, um, the, uh, the deeper tones in the flowers perfectly match the mulberry from CJP. That is called Peach Purple. It's a bit of uh, leaf foil that I got from Amazon a while back. One of the colors, one of 12 colors. I just show you this this nail. I do the same thing, just mirrored on the pointer. I want to say the thumb, but this hand doesn't have a thumb. <laughs> I'm loving this hand. I am. I'm loving this hand. The only thing I said, like, sh it's a little bit stiff uh, because of the armature inside, and I'm not quite, quite used to it. But I'm getting there. I really do enjoy working on it. It's really small though. Like April Ryan who, who does these hands must have really tiny hands because they're modeled after her hands. So I just put a teeny tiny bit of base coat on that brush to pick up those dang beads. Why, why I decided to do these, I have no idea. I did show you uh, putting them on both fingers, but I only show you nudging them around on the one hand. But I think they add a little something something. They're so pretty. But even nudging them around, like they did not want to play fair. They wanted to, it's like they were jumping or something. I don't even know how to explain that. But they weren't just moving around nice and smooth, you know what I mean? I'd move one and ten would move. <laughs> I got these from AliExpress and they came in baggies and when I tried to pot them, oh my gosh. It was like I had Mexican jumping beans on the table. They were Every time my hand would go near the pot, they would jump out of the pot. So I was trying to... Uh, static I guess myself get rid of the static so here we are top coating and this set is just about complete so I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today I hope you like what you see if you do please like comment subscribe I love replying to all your comments and that is it for me for this time around ciao for now and hope to catch you in the next one bye